Hello everyone and welcome. Now if you're enjoying these planar painting videos, please hit that like button or leave me a comment below. Now this video is about pushing the colors to emphasize the subject and in this case the two trees there. In this instance I chose a warmer tree in the front and a cooler color for the tree behind, but this could easily have been reversed. After I put in this sketch here you'll see me throw in some nice deep red wash and then a bright blue wash for the background tree. And as the uh, mineral spirits burn off, I'm going to fill in the rest of the uh, the board here. And I'm throwing in the background trees there, of course, in a uh, lighter value and mixing in a little bit darker values as we go. And there's a path behind those trees, so I try to put that in with some grass. And that ochre color is actually part of the water that flows behind those trees, just to create a sense of depth. Um, in the end, it doesn't really matter if you know it's water or not, but the idea is it creates a sense of uh, crossover and depth. And I put in the darks of the foreground water here, throwing in some grasses and a little bit of the uh, water behind there. I keep on going, putting it through. Put some lighters in the front, which I'll adjust later. And I throw in a nice deep purple for that uh, shadow of the bark on that tree, keeping everything warm, right? Even though it's a cool shadow, it's still a warm color. The core of that tree ends up being a, a bright orange, which you'll see me adjust a little bit later as well. And the highlight more of a yellow. And I really put in the chrome of a blue tree there and intermix some uh, more blues and violets throughout in the darks. Just trying to establish and finish my composition here. A little bit of green in that tree which you'll see me uh, change a little bit later on. It's always a dynamic process plein air painting, right? I make a decision to do one thing and eventually, or not, I will change it. Uh, let's fill in the rest of the canvas here with some uh, grass wash. And then an indication of some trees in the background. Just for context more than anything, I don't want to put too much emphasis there. I'll move back into the pathways, fill in the rest of the canvas, and put in some lighter rocks, I believe, in the background there, just to create a sense of depth. And moving into the water as it comes down and across into the trees, throwing in some violets. Uh, with, um, you know, even though it's a cool tree, you can put some, some warmer cools in that tree. But not too much because you don't want to compete with the warmer tree in front. Uh, throwing in some sky reflection in the water here. Always helps bring the water to life. Adjusting how the tree looks on the bank and within the water. A little more highlights on that tree. Trying to create a little more interest. Some random strokes. And bringing in a little bit hotter and warmer red into it. And then bringing that into the uh, foreground as well. And adjusting the greens in the foreground as we go. I keep on building that up, creating a sense of depth through light and darks. And plein air painting isn't all about just painting what you see. A lot of it is understanding um, lighting effects within the environment and then adding them to your painting as well. Here we have a little bit of um, highlights in the water where the uh, the water is gurgling there. And I bring out, bring out my rigger and I start putting in uh, some fine lines here and there just to get an indication of grasses. Adjusting the background again, trying to get some uh, lights and dark variations. And moving back into the back water, moving back into the back trees, real back and forth over and over again. I push the chroma in that uh, background tree. Uh, moving back and forth everywhere I go, starting to get a little bit lighter, a little bit of knife work. And then here is I decided to add a larger tree on the left, just to get a sense of um, composition more than anything. I felt it was a little bit too empty, so adding that tree on the left, even though it's not important, it kind of adds to the uh, composition, I find. Keeps you in within the painting a little bit more. Really playing with that tree, trying to bring out that chrome a little bit more. Even the highlights are a little more blue. And darking it at the top to keep everything within the painting. And you can see I had a little bit of uh, oranges and pinks within there, and then adding some pinks within the um, the water as well. Uh, it just really works on that warm and cool play that helps keep the painting interesting, provides a little bit of vibration. Keep on working on it until I'm satisfied with it. And you'll see me put in a reflection of the tree down below, and pushing the darks down below to make the tree really sit down. A little more warmth in that tree to help bring it out and you'll see me darken the top of that tree in a bit just to help keep it within the painting a little more warms in the foreground tree cools in the background tree but you can see I can really push in the color here 
Absolutely. That boy, it's a lot more interesting this way, I find. Darkening the bottom right-hand corner just to help push your eye up to the trees itself instead of pushing you down away and out of the painting. And you can see there it is, that darkening of that top of the tree to keep me within the painting itself. Darkening the shadow of the cooler tree to help push the warmer tree forward. And throwing some cools within that tree to help emphasize the warms. Finished it. And here's a little overview of the painting. If you've enjoyed this video, please take the time to like and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and keep painting.